of gas phase as rather. And with your pressing and inspiring phase, spreading speed all around. I am delighted to have all jubilant parents, all the aspirants who have prayed hard for your success and the day came. When you are Alhamdulillah successfully passing out the other time. Sky is the limit for your progress. This should be the first step towards that success step. Number of alumni from this institute serving across the globe and the world. Couple of them are facing this over here and there. We have with us Mr. Chair Abdul Malik, our former president. Former Managing Director of PIA, he's got only one example, but this is among those who led the profession. They are the stalwarts of management accountancy in Pakistan. Give them a big round of applause. They led the way for our youth. Without further ado, let's start the proceedings from the holy name of Allah. Let me take this honor to invite Mr. Moin to recite two verses from the Holy Prophet. <laughs> and austerity, Dean IBA, Governor, State Bank of Pakistan, a dynamic personality, well reputed author of number of books, enjoying acclaim, profound recognition across the globe. Then we have with us Mr. Shahzad Ahmad Malik, our respected Vice President, ICMA Pakistan. <coughs> he is all the way coming from Islamabad to join this celebration. Welcome, sir. Mr. Shaham Ahmed, who is serving the Institute as Honorary Secretary. Welcome, Shaham, sir. Mr. Awar Siyasi, our member National Council. He is joining from Lahore. Thank you, Awar, sir. Mr. Azim Hussain Siddiqui, Chairman, Karachi Branch Council. All distinguished office bearers of the Karachi Branch Council. Learned vocality who made all these dreams come true. Thank you very much for participation. And most importantly, last but not least, proud parents of qualified alumni. बच्चे के पैदाइश के साथ ही हमारी ख्वाहिश शुरू हो जाती है हमारा बच्चा एक अच्छे एकेडेमिया में पहुंचे स्कूल की तलाश शुरू होती है फिर मुख्तलि मराइल तय करता हुआ वो बच्चा आगे बढ़ता चला जाता है आपकी दुआएं आपकी पैटर्न साथ रहती है और अल्लाह के फजल से आई सी एम में वो डिग्री है 
सिर्फ माँ बाप और बहनों की दुआएं काम नहीं करती इसके लिए फिर कुछ लोगों ने शादियां कर रखी हैं आगे दुआओं का सिलसिला और बढ़ाया है मुझे कुछ लोग नजर आए माशाल्लाह बच्चों को भी साथ लेके आए और मुझे इंट्रोड्यूस करवाया कि मेरी इस बच्ची के बाद मैं क्वालिफाई हुआ देखा हिम्मत नहीं हारी जुटे रहे और कुछ सौ में शामिल हो गए जो आज यहाँ पे माशाला सर्टिफिकेट लेने बैठे हुए हैं आईसीएमए में सत्तर साल में सात हजार इंच जैसे लोग निकले हैं सिर्फ और माशाल्लाह पंद्रह हजार हमारी वेबसाइट पे लिखा हुआ है कि लोग अलाइव स्टूडेंट हैं तो उस अलाइव और डॉर्मेंट और डेड होने में थोड़ा ही फर्क होता है माँ बाप की दुआएं हौसले उनकी अपनी हिम्मतें ये तमाम उनको इस परसिस्टेंस के साथ यहाँ तक पहुंचाती है कि वो माशाला यहाँ पे आ सके और इस सारे में हमारे और हमारी फैकल्टी हमारी फैकल्टी यूनिक है इस वजह से ये बहुत डेडिकेटेड लोग हैं आठ घंटे अपने दफ्तर में सर्व करने के बाद ये प्रोफेशनल अपनी जिम्मेदारी मोस्ट ऑफ देम अपनी जिम्मेदारी समझ के कि मैंने आगे यूथ बिल्डिंग करनी है ये हमारे पास आते हैं और यहाँ आके ये अपने शामों को रातों को आप लोगों के नाम करते हैं जो लर्निंग जो इनकी पूरी वहां से ऑयल बर्निंग हुई होती है वो तमाम लेकर आप तक पहुंचते हैं और आपको समा देते हैं तमाम चीजें दैट्स व्हाई वी कॉल्ड आर एकेडमिक्स द प्रोफेशनल्स हम वो प्रोफेशनल्स हैं जो इंडस्ट्री में जाते ही उनके लिए कार आमद होते हैं दिस इज द डिफरेंस विच मेक अस आ हेल्प फ्रॉम एकेडमी स्टडी तो ये नॉर्मल मास्टर्स नहीं है एनी हाउ आगे बढ़ते हैं Let me introduce another very brilliant, proud product of the institute. She is Ms. Ifra Sarwar, our associate member. She had won five certificates of merit, distinction holder from ICMA, and currently serving two enterprises as head of costing. Ifra, please. famous saying that whatever you do do it with excellence because there is no reward for average performances and the ones who have outperformed they all are sitting over here to have their reward from us talent and skills are crops which are nurtured and grown given all the certain possible opportunities to grow and bloom convocation day is a celebration for you all as you have put a lot of effort to get to this i'm confident that our new mom members will walk in the footsteps of their fellow members as leaders in the pursuit of excellence filled with passion to serve the country in the various sectors of economy you can be the future cfos ceos and strategic business leaders congratulations to all of you <laughs> ladies and gentlemen uh, we are going to start the ceremony i would like to ask all of you to welcome Mr. Shahzad Ahmed Malik, FCMA, uh, who is the Vice President of ICMA Pakistan. Please welcome Mr. Shahzad Ahmed Malik to come and say a few words. चेयरमैन <coughs> Azim sir and the member of the KBC our past former president Chairman Malik sir and our vice president Abdul Wasim sir and ladies and gentlemen assalamu alaikum respected members of the Karachi branch council members of ICMB and their parents distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen it is indeed a matter of pleasure and satisfaction for me 
as the vice president of this prestigious institute to join our talented CMAs at this convocation in Karachi to celebrate the occasion of their successful completion of CMA certification. Before I proceed, I would like to heartily welcome our Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Isha Zasan, and, and our other guests for very kindly accepting our invitation to grace this convocation, sir. We are highly indebted to, your, to you for sparing your precious time and busy schedule to join us tonight. ICMA is the one of the oldest profession in this region, founded in 1951, the late Mohammad Shweb, the former finance minister of Pakistan. It has a statutory status under the CMA Act 1966 to regulate the profession of cost and management accountancy in Pakistan. The institute has over 7,000 qualified members who are serving at high profile positions at the public and private sectors in Pakistan, as well as in abroad. ICMA is the founding member of IFAC, Kappa, and SAFA, and the only current participant, participants of the Value Reporting Foundation, VRF, and ICGN, International Corporate Governors in Pakistan. Over the years, <coughs> ICMA has maintained a tradition of excellence and met the requirements of the corporate sector and industry. It not only provides support to the government and regulation in developing policies, procedures, and standards to create a better business environment, but also suggests them a way forward on the different financial and economic challenges and on improving public governance and productivity. ICMA has been playing a significant role in the promotion of corporate governance in Pakistan and has provided valuable inputs in developing 2002 and 2012 cores of corporate governance. ICMA is the founding member of the Pakistan Institute of Corporate Governance PICG and has also been officially <coughs> nominated by the Security Exchange Commission of Pakistan to conduct the Certified Director's Training Program for listed companies under the Code of Corporate Governance 2012. Every year, we are also organizing jointly with the other discipline of Pakistan the competition of the Best Corporate Reporting Award. To to recognize the efforts of the listed companies in maximum disclosure in financial statements as per international good corporate governance practices. Based on our experience in the field of corporate and public sector governance, I would like to take this opportunity to briefly share a few, few suggestions for your kind consideration, sir. Firstly, there is a need to bring far-reaching reforms in the public sector departments and organization so that they can not only cope with the global requirement but also become productive and efficient in minimum time. To achieve this goal, ICMA would strongly recommend engaging highly qualified finance professionals like chartered management, CMAs, who would not only conduct organizational audits <coughs> but also suggest comprehensive roadmap for their improvement. I may add there that there is a greater room to improve the efficiency of the government department by installing tailor-made ERP systems and adopting international finance reporting standards <laughs> IFRS. Secondly, there is an inherent flaw in the infrastructure project developed under PSDP that the funds released for such product recorded in the books of accounts of government department as expenditure. The Karachi branch council for inviting me this evening to share some of my thoughts with you. I have uh, never turned down any invitation from a college, school, university, or a professional organization where students are involved. Because I personally think that our generation has done and what is obvious that we haven't done a great job 
for this country. But I have great hopes and expectations from the younger generation, and that's the reason why I want to go and spread the word around. So let me begin by congratulating all of you who have successfully completed this journey. And I also want to commend the parents of the graduating students for their support and for sharing <coughs> all the inconveniences which you have to go through when your children are engaged in very serious educational pursuits. So you deserve the same kind of commendation as the students themselves. I would like to address the students, so what is a professional? Just getting a diploma, a degree, a membership of a professional organization is not becoming a professional. A professional is one who exhibits, displays, and practices the attributes of a professional in day-to-day -day life. That individual is a professional. And what are those attributes? The first attribute of a professional is character. If you don't have a character and you can be blind one way or the other and you can yield to pressures and you can scum to other extraneous considerations for your short-term gains you're not a professional because you have violated the first principle which is that you have to have a strong character and you have to show that under even more difficult circumstances. <coughs> Adversity really tests your mettle, whether you are able to stand up to those standards or not. And associated with your first attribute is the second attribute, which is courage. A lot of young men say, Oh, my boss ne ye baat kehdi hai. Chahe wo sahi ho, chahe galat ho. We will get along with that. We will go along with that. <coughs> I think again, you are behaving not as a professional, but as a psychophant and as a sucker. That is not what a professional is. You have to stand up and display your courage, even at the cost. And I go very far. लोगों को डर होता है कि यार अगर बॉस को नाराज कर दिया या बॉस ना खुश हो गया और बॉस की हमने बात नहीं सुनी तो हमें तो नौकरी से निकाल देंगे. Yes, you would face those kind of situations but the inner satisfaction you get and the reputation you earn I can assure you will hold you in good stead for all your life uh, short term may mushkil hoti hai difficulties hoti hai lekin jinho ne bhi shortcut maare hai aur personal gains ke liye apni courage of conviction ये आपने कैरेक्टर को सेक्रीफाइस किया है उनकी मोहम्मद I would like to thank Mr. Khurram, sir, 
uh, you can take your seat back. Okay, now I'd like to invite uh, Sher Afghan, who is the former president of Pakistan, sorry, pro, uh, former president of ICM, to please join the stage.